Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek official Starship collection from Eagle Moss model review. Right, this time it's the Fasarius from the original series of Star Trek. It was from the um, Corbomite Maneuver episode. Yeah. So this was from the First Federation ship. Looks like a big ball to be honest, but let's get to this one later. Let's get on with the magazine. Right, was the flagship of the First Federation, used in 2266, was the first series of the original series. Its diameter was more than 1.6 kilometres, so it's about over a mile wide. That's all it is, same picture. Or is it? I don't know. Is it? Isn't it? So there's a similar sort of pattern running through this entire ship. It's kind of, I wouldn't say bog, but I would, wouldn't say it's not Borg related ish because it's a similar sort of repeating pattern all over the ship. But yeah, as I said, First Federation, Belloc was the operator, but there's one guy on board the ship. One little, he was a kid, what the actor we played was as a kid was when he was on board with weird, weird teeth, but he's got a bald head. He, he's been in loads of films. I'm sure we'll show him anyway in here. Belloc, you thought, was this creature here, and this... Oh, he scared the crap out of me when I was a kid. Absolutely detested him. Because it was always at the end of an episode, it was every single bloody episode, apart from when they... Well, there's some they changed, some they didn't, but it was either Vina from the original pilot, cage, menagerie, whichever episode, or Belloc. Right at the bloody end, it was like I was hiding behind the settee to look at him. It's the horrible look of the the, the kind of alien-y sort of... I don't know, he kind of looks... If you look at, properly on this one, if you ever look up the alien species, this is this is kind of nutter um, sci-fi... Not sci-fi, sci-fiction. If you ever look up the... Um, the greys, the greys, um, very much big bug eyes, very much longer head, bigger forehead, and it's he it reminds me of that, but he's obviously green skinned. But he was a puppet, which, which kind of makes me feel better and makes me sleep at night. But yeah, it was a puppet. But whoa, whoa, though, first version planet that Belloc pilot. Mercapri, okay. Or oh, the Enterprise. I mean, you had stuff on this. I mean, it looks like a small moon. The, this are these are from the um, remastered versions. The original series didn't really have much on on effects budget wise, which is fine. They were updated. But why was this? Because like. Before encountering the Vesaurus Enterprise, met a multi multi cube. Yeah, because it spun round trying to as a, as a probe. But they did actually get certain certain bits better for the um, where they redid all the special effects, which is great, which is fine. But it did kind of take a lot of the shine off. So the actor there, the, the, the young kid was was the the uh, well, he was called Belloc. But he all was a was the puppy called Belloc? Not quite sure. But the effects were... They looked a lot, lot better when you got round to the... the redone versions, the remastered versions. But still... It still looked very impressive. Look, look there was very much similar to this. A big ball of balls. This was the original series where it looked like the Vesarius. But it looked like Belloc was just a, um, a, a person on his own, the last of the First Federation. We've had a, an episode in in Discovery where they've met a... All right, all right, spoilers. In Series 2, where they've met some sort of intelligence which has scanned different planets. It's got so much data in its system. 
and it, it gave it to Discovery, and they tried to um, decipher it. And the last episode, which was I think today, the day, uh, whatever, and there's a character on Discovery, which is the robot, kind of looks like a robot ish, but there's not much backstory to her. And it's the computer programmers took over, took over the um, the character. And no spoilers on here, but it's very, very good episode. Very moving as well, quite strange for a, for a Discovery episode. But, yeah. But that was the case. The, the First Federation must have had a lot of information in the Visarius, gave to the Federation. Same as the alien entity. We still don't know who it is. We also don't know who the Red Angel is, but hey-ho, we live in hope. See, this is the original series ship there also here as well it looks a little bit too over the top the de designs on there an updated version very much similar ball on balls but you made each one of these like a dome on top of the ball so each one of these could be compartments could be houses could be cities you, you don't know but definitely an upgrade but still a good upgrade Actually, Matt Jeffries inside the Enterprise. It was the guy who, for passing in 2003, wow, been gone for quite a while then. Did a lot of design on the Enterprises. That is here. Amazing sort of, it, it was the um, cylindrical Enterprise design, but a lot of internal design then. Matt Jeffries, just, just, yeah, that's why they call him a Jeffrey's Tube, because named after him, even though technically Matt Jeffries wasn't around in the 23rd century. He was having a drink, Ahura was in, first in this one with the uh, yellow uniform, command uniform, and then got bumped down to red shirt. Mm-hmm. But let's get on with the model now. Next one's got the Baran's Raider, which was from a Next Generation episode. We'll find out that in the next video. So, let's get the model out. Let's get the ball out. So we're back onto a square case instead of the longer one because it's tall as well as it is round. Right, stand number I can't tell without taking it out. 6875-A slash A. And again, it's got a cup on there for the stand so it'll just sit on top. These do look like they would probably break very easily. So back in you go, you are not going to be used this time. So. Oh. Okay, it's a tennis ball. Right, okay, so if we look at it like this, it's really good. Right, if we look at it like, okay, away and then, well, that's kind of weird. Okay, all the um, design of the ship has gone completely when you put it like that. It just looks like a big... They've all been dropped in chocolate and they're melting their way through. Oh, what the hell is that? Okay, bad paintwork. But you've got this line down the middle. You've got... Uh, there's two sections there which look like it's easy key to put them both together with. Yeah. I'm doing this on purpose because that's overrun or not been painted properly. Over splodge over, and that, that darkens off a bit. Okay, I can understand why they did that, but it's just a plastic ball. There is some weight to it. So obviously inside here there is probably some sort of metal structure and that rattles. Oh, here we go. It's not. It's, there's a massive gap on this. There's not much gap there, but there's a massive gap there. It looks like this would pull apart. No, nope. probably a screwdriver then and pull it apart. But yeah, it's a ball. It's definitely a ball. 
definitely a weight on there as well, for some reason. I mean, yeah, they couldn't, they could have done a lot more with this model, but they just put bigger dots and smaller dots on it. I mean, where you've got different colours, you've got your red dots, your yellow dots, they've gone all yellow. And if you look properly at the model, I'll find it. So you've got on here, you've got interconnection, interconnecting parts which kind of make it look like these yeah. it's a shame really, even on the original one didn't look exactly like well, actually they all look the same same colour depending on the lighting so have they done an original series version of it? or they done a... I don't know you know I just don't know I can't complain really, to be honest. It's a ship that you wouldn't actually see being done. But these are never meant to be um, played with, meant, meant to be faffed with anyway, just, 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 just displayed really. Just sat on the ball like a mover globe. But it won't turn like a mover globe would. Oh, if you want to see a really good video on, on my Morford Lobes, then check out, well, yeah, check out the other videos. There's, I've got four Morford, Morford Lobes at the moment. They're absolutely excellent. I just do recommend them. I've actually had an email from Morford Lobes saying thank you very much for re re reviewing our product. Absolutely brilliant. But, yeah, it's another could have been better Eagle Moss, but... What else are you going to do with this sort of scale? If you had one massively sized, yeah, you could do something with it. What if you going to do a Dyson Sphere then? That's an idea for you, Edel Moss. On time deliveries and a Dyson Sphere. Uh, shame about that bit there, but hey ho. Gives it a bit of character. So, not much I can do for a zoom in view on this one, to be honest. Can't really do much of a model review. Apart from it's just a ball with dots on it. But it's the Fasarius, and it's the first time this has ever been a um, a model. Actually, I'm looking at this through the camera, and I can see triangles of pattern on this. I mean, there is method on the madness on here. There's a, a double sided triangle there. Two above, it's, it's a repeating pattern. I can't see it when I'm looking at it. But I can see it through the camera. There's a definite repeating pattern on this. Hmm. I wonder if it'll show up actually in the video instead of just on the screen, but there's a definite repeating pattern. Like a diamond sort of shape with two eyes in the middle. Yeah, okay. That's making me think more. That's making me think like a Klingon ship from Discovery that I couldn't put down. Not different. Triangles. Okay, there's a hex gun there. One, two, three, four, yeah. The more you look at it, the less you look at it, they think, yeah. But the more you look at it, it's it's panned. That's, that's mind flipping me. Hmm, okay. All right, I'll give you this one, Eagle Moss. I'll give you this one. Okay, well done. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please uh, follow me on Twitter. Tw oh, hello. I found the sweet spot. <laughs> Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, please help me if you'd like to. And other social media. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.